my boss. They would make any confirmed bachelor want to get married. I just don't have the desire to work today. I feel more like singing a flamenco song. I am going to do it. Woman of my soul. Ay, 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 ay. Whoa. My boss is good, very good. I don't know very well his wife. She arrived yesterday from San Francisco where they went on their honeymoon. Pretty, very pretty, though quiet. And she is no genius. <laughs> How few women there are like that in this hemisphere. <laughs> I am the first one to like women, as long as they cut off their tongues and calm down their nerves and forget about the desires for luxury, plus some of their other defects. Even then I wouldn't marry one. I would still be afraid of them. Oh, 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 the song is coming out again from my whole body. Not even the most tuneful canary. Bravo, I like it. Oh, but this was only the beginning. After I warm up, I sing like a nightingale and put my song into the sky. Well, put your song into the kitchen, for that is your place. I am a personal helper for my employer, not a cook. And aiding my employer is a full job for me. If my singing bothers you, I won't sing again. I will lock my vocal cords and that's it. That is my desire. You can leave now. Ah, right away. It seems like a bad wind here. Finally, she will turn out like all the women of her sex. What nerve? Never will I get married, dead or alive. <laughs> Manuel says Jose is his personal aid. But I do not want him taking so many liberties that we have to fire him. But I do like his flamenco singing. I did some flamenco once. And it brings back so many memories. Manuel takes me for a dumbbell. <laughs> and I pretend to be one, for I can get more things that way. I know all men are bad, clear to the bone. And you have to suffer them and hide your desires and avoid at all cost that they know how you really are inside. Our director always told us very clearly For she knew quite well Any lady of station Who does not 
to go to make you cry and then return with my love to make you happy. Uh, hug me. It is an opportune. What an innocent creature. Oh, there is no one. I thought someone was coming. A half hour you were alone. Thirty minutes away from you is a century for me. Another hug. And nothing more. Mm. Did you call? Oh. Imprudent! I don't see anything in such cases. Get out! Natural things, they shouldn't frighten. Naturally. Oh. Do you see how he is always in the way? When I hugged you affectionately, it was only in front of a servant. And everything will stay in the house. Today, you have been mine for one month. San Francisco was our cure, with you saying yes and telling me I lost my heart, which I understood at once. <laughs> we left the church in a limo. It was night. That's true. And it wasn't raining. In a limo, it's no distance. We went full speed. We passed the Golden Gate, and there we were in Marin. With you at my side. 
It was natural being together, crossing those fields of God's vineyards. That wasn't vineyards yet. It's the same. Oh, from the limo we saw the wine world of Napa. All those close-spaced vines. What we saw was Napa's close-spaced folly. Folly? But they're so cute, all those little grapevines all nestled together, holding hands. You, waiting for my every request. I would like to dance. And Halita, do you agree? I would like to undo our marriage so we could get married all over again. Oh, <laughs> give me my wonderful mistress your hand. <laughs> Way. I came in to ask you a question. If they come to look for you, will I tell them you aren't receiving anyone? Imbecile! You break in just to ask that? I don't understand your anger, for I didn't see anything. I never do! <laughs> With his intolerable audacity, it seems he's just provoking us. Why does he pick today of all days to be so nosy? A servant like this, I say, is a real burden. What agony! <laughs> he is from Andalusia. At best, he throws out a joke. Otherwise, he is good for nothing. But don't fear. At least he is very confidential. He is honest and loyal and gentle as a lamb. I believe you don't have any complaints with your presence? Oh, no such. Above all, that shawl you gave me is very precious. This shawl would go very well on you. Would you give your husband some pleasure? Oh, huh? without delay. I would like to see a portrait of you in this shawl, which is from Neiman Marcus. <laughs> and was obviously made for you. Oh, I hate your Manuel wishes to see you in this show. You are my whole life. Good. <laughs> it's going to be noon soon. My aunt and uncle will be arriving, but I have to go out as soon as I finish eating. And your aunt and uncle? I have to greet them all by myself? That's oh. shameful. I don't understand you at all. The fact is, you have to start losing the social reluctance, woman. I don't know. Get rid of that fear. They will be arriving soon and expecting to find you happy. Mind you, it is the Baron of Forshield, who is my uncle, of whom I am the sole heir. Oh. He will come with his wife. Now, just like us, they are recently married. And between the two of them, they are one and a half centuries old. Oh, they were married just in time. You have to comply with society, little woman. At least give it an effort on Halita and see if you can just fake it. If on such critical occasion you can't make any conversation at all, God knows what they will think. Oh, I am praying for my situation. I am fighting to change my character. The lunch should enliven you a lot, especially the wine we brought back from our honeymoon trip to Napa. Oh. I will make her drink some. Will you be all right? <gasps> May I enter now? Yes, little donkey. Excuse me, please. Let's have lunch. <laughs> Teresa, Teresa! Oh. Oh. I was out picking up some plate that accidentally got dropped. My present. But don't worry, everything is ready. As to the Cabernet and this, I already put two battles on the table. You give me your arm and let us toast our love. For our love. Mm. <laughs> toast of love. Teresa, how tender. They have come from their honeymoon in San Francisco. I am not counting on poor Teresa. If later we have lunch together, they may be through with me because of Teresa's frazzled nerves. She already broke one plate, and I believe it is not the first plate she has broken in her life. 
Oh, Jose, what a loafer I see. Do you always want to be sitting down? Yesterday I loved my work, and today I only want to party. I feel like singing, and working makes me tired. Today I woke up singing as an Andalou. And I feel like dancing. Ah, I sing, you dance, and play the castanets. I said, oh, no, I said, oh, no, I don't love you anymore. I simply because I don't want to. I saw something that I saw. I I saw a very dark gypsy who married a gypsy girl. I saw This is his house. Go and call him. That woman is wearing a big strawberry puretta. <laughs> Tell him that his uncle, the Baron, awaits him. Oh, but sir, they are now eating lunch. Well, let them come when they are finished. And without rushing, there is no hurry. I know. I will tell them not to come with their mouths full of food. Laura. Mm -hmm. Oh, handsome. Today is one month since we were married. Ah, oh, we were really married. Oh, happy day was our honeymoon. Yes, we took the bus. <laughs> and then what happy hours engulfed in your charm. Good heavens, don't make me blush. Don't remember certain things. Oh, sweet delight. Oh, my good luck. Oh, our holy matrimony. Oh, blessed vows. Let me 
reach my arm around your diminutive waist. <laughs> Whoops! Did you announce us? Yes, of course I did. I'm going. Goodbye. So you can be alone together. Enjoy yourselves. <laughs> Because of your innocent embrace, there is not one of my nerves that does not jump. The Galician saw us. And he laughed, the savage. Oh, not being at home, I will not again allow you to embrace me. Ah, here comes my nephew. My good uncle. Esco. <laughs> my wife, Doña Laura de la Roca. My lady. I mean, my aunt from this instant on. And you will never find an aunt like this one anywhere. I have an extraordinary pleasure. And I a very grand pleasure. You are so special. And that is a compliment. And it is deserved, since your virtues are even more than your outward appearances. <laughs> when they get into their 70s, they become unbearable. You were engaged a long time. For 30 years and nine months <laughs> of constant love. The man has to think well about getting married. And the woman ought to marry at a mature age. And so mature. While my mother was alive, I didn't want to cause her grief. Marriage is so serious. Did the poor woman die? Oh, and so young. Of an attack of rheumatism complicated by asthma and a serious discharge, and bronchitis. Well, that's a bunch of ailments. Uh, and your wife, my niece. Our niece. She is an angel with your forbearance. By nature, her character is so shy that she will not look up when other persons are around. Her eyes will not leave the ground, and she can hardly even speak. So, she is an angel, my... Anhalita. That pleases me very much to have a niece so esteemed. Uh, these women demanding and mocking and talkative do not please me at all. I prefer the education to the looks. I did not doubt that you would find a woman of your own class. Look, education above all. She is so shy. She will be here in a moment. Just like this one. So. <laughs> We were both married on the same day. Yes, it has been one month. And we are thinking of doing it again. If you last that long. <laughs> My dear uncle. <laughs> you are my only heir. Uh, assuming that no fruit is born from our passion. Oh, good heavens, be quiet. <laughs> Do you see this innocent creature? The most natural thing. She is blushing. She will get used to it little by little. Very well. No one is to leave this house till I return. You are going to leave? Just for a moment. Uh, as for your honeymoon in uh, San Francisco, well, did you remember what I asked you to get? In my office is a collection of four large horseshoes decorated with granite and pearls. For you, my pigeon. So then, four? There are enough. You can see it all in my office while I'm out. And Alita isn't here yet. Oh, she's probably getting ready. Well, let us go for your horseshoes. Let's go. <laughs> Every horse needs them. Such a sweet bouquet. 
and his wife ask if they can enter. Oh, tell them to come in, Pepito. <laughs> Pepito? She is using my nickname? Right away, I'll get them. Hey, Jose, take this bottle and hide it someplace very safe. And be careful, don't drink any. <laughs> this tone of voice? Such frankness with me? Don't be a smart aleck. <laughs> so the Cabernet Jarvis went to her head. <laughs> oh. Oh, please come in. Angelita. Shawl. <laughs> For this to 
be a joke of hers is just too much. Aha! Uh -huh. It figures to me that the culprit must be this bottle. Oh my goodness, she always was so quiet that it must be the Cabernet Jarvis that did it. <laughs> This drinking can be bad. It is clear that this special wine is the traitor. Hmm. Very invigorating, even for a meek person. Understand that wine can be bad. But how good is Dimitri's wine? <laughs> Your uncle left this note for you just a short time ago. Well, let's see it. Am I going mad? Have I lost my mind? Did Angelita throw them out? And Angelita, where is she? She locked her door. On Halita! She said she wasn't seeing anyone. Do you know something? I know nothing. Speak! I shouldn't say anything. Did you hear something? Well, I heard some shouting, but I am not saying what I am telling you. Speak to me clearly. I demand it. Oh, sir, how do I tell you about your tipsy wife? Angelita! She's not about to reply. Take this, simpleton. Oh, he's always right by reason of his big foot. And I am their sole heir. Understood, sir. The door, it's totally locked? Yes, totally locked. Nothing, and she doesn't even answer. Nothing. This is very rare. Very rare. I will see my uncle. Exactly. And I will know. Well, of course but you will you, know. But for you, who asked you, dumbhead? Oh. I am going to... Oh, don't ask for trouble, sir. Take this. <laughs> so that's it. For showing my concern, I get this reward. Did my son leave? Oh, to be sure. <laughs> My God, she looks exactly like a flamenco dancer. Well, now I would like to sing and dance. And if your husband returns and sees? If the poor Manuel is taken back when he sees me, well, he has been asking for it. Why else did he give me this if not to wear it? I am very cheerful. <laughs> Yesterday I have a special taste for flamenco singing, dancing, and wine. <laughs> the wine. Mm. Oh, oh. Oh, but you don't need more to drink. Could I order it? Oh, all right. By the way, do you know how to sing? Me? Yes. I sing like a nightingale. Oh. I'm Pepe from Pepe's Pizza Parlor and Flamenco Cafe, and I am here to deliver your Salchichon Pizza. Gracias. Do you do flamenco? I'm a pizza man by day, but at night I'm a flamenco dancer. Wow! What kind of queens do then? I am a maid by day, um, flamenco dancer by night also. How charming, how very charming. Out! Wait, just in time. We'll sing, you two dance. And here, have some Cabernet Jarvis. <laughs> Pardon. 
to the head. Now it is my turn. I, this good woman is inspired, but if hubby comes back too soon, this poor gypsy will get fired. Long live those handsome Gallegos. Not 
to be serious. I am very happy. Yes, I can see that. <laughs> it is clear. I made her drink. Oh, I didn't drink that much. Ha! Huh. There is hardly any wine left. Here's the bottle. of her condition, it is that the poor one took it without thinking. How awful. A young woman drinking. Well, it is a very special wine, the Cabernet Jarvis. <laughs> well, I have heard that hang time makes the difference in the Jarvis vineyard. Do you know that this wine really makes me want to sing? Ah! It's not bad, but pour me some more. Annalita, how are you feeling? Me? My wine? You should sleep and afterwards ask forgiveness for everything. Oh, you know that this wine does something. That's true. Just tasting it makes me lose my head. How mischievous is this special <laughs> little wine? How it goes right to your head. Yes. And how it comes back down. Happiness and rejuvenative. Oh, and what you say is true, sweetie. Oh, silly. Cutie. Oh, but how beautiful you are, my precious. Oh, my God. More wine, please. Drink up. Annalita, be careful about doing that again. Me? Don't scold her, no. silly. The girl was only drinking wine. To drink this wine is not bad. Oh, if she had drunk bad wine, that would be unbearable. <laughs> Give me your arm. There's a good support until we get to port. Uh, but how funny you have been, Angelita. <laughs> <laughs> is there a bit left in the bottle? From the wine that I drank. I offer you my heart. Oh. Do you like the Cabernet Jarvis? Mm. Mm. Yes! <laughs> Viva the pride and bloom! Viva! Viva Napa! Viva! Viva Cabernet Jarvis! Viva! by asking our delivery boy, Pepe, and Teresa to dance for us. Oh, Thank you. 